often accused of being an Optus fanboy because I don't talk about other energy deals, today's video, that's going to change. And that's because we're going to be comparing Optus Go Intelligent versus Ovo Drive anytime. And the deal that I actually think might be best for you might actually surprise you. Firstly, let's talk about Ovo Drive anytime because we have two rates. We have one for the car, which we'll get to in a minute, and one for the house. Now, the house will pay that rate regardless. Any time of the day, no matter what you're doing, the house will always pay what's known as the peak house rate. It's a standard house rate. You pick a tariff, and that's the rate you get. Now, you can pick different deals on the house rate. I believe you can pick like a two-year fix. You'll pay slightly more. But if you're on the cheapest rate deal at the moment, which is on uh, Ovo Drive anytime, you're looking about. 28p a kilowatt hour for the house load. Now, Octopus have a peak rate, an off peak rate, which we'll discuss slightly in a minute, but Octopus's rate is 2p more expensive. So it's 28p for over drive anytime and 30p for Octopus, but Octopus works very differently, which we'll explain in a minute because it's very important to understand that difference. Now, Overdrive Anytime has a special rate for the car. When the car is plugged in, the car will receive seven pence a kilowatt hour. That's half a pence cheaper for than Octopus charge for their car rate charging. But there's a very important thing to note here that Ovo is just for the car, not for the house. So Ovo Anytime, on the face of it, does look cheaper because it's got cheaper peak and cheaper charging for your car. The peak rate is about 2p cheaper and the charging car rate is about half a pence cheaper. But as I mentioned, the house will always pay the house rate, even when the car's charging. So if you've got other things running or batteries in your house or anything else that you can load shift, you're not gonna be benefiting from that on Ovo Anytime. What's also important to know is the difference between Octopus and Ovo Anytime is Ovo Anytime sounds like it will charge the car anytime, but actually it's very similar to Octopus. It will schedule smart charges based on when it's better for Ovo or Octopus to get the cheapest rate of electricity. And what this means is you might plug in at 6 p.m. It doesn't mean the car's going to start charging at 6 p.m. It's not charge anytime. It just means that they could schedule the charge at any time. Now, Octopus Intelligent is 7.5p off-peak every single day between half 11 and 5.30. That means you're getting six hours every night, even when the car's not plugged in, at off-peak electricity. Now, obviously, most people are not consuming huge amounts of electricity during these times anyway, but if you had a home storage battery, check out my video top right that I did about charging that up during off-peak hours off Octopus. Or if you had dishwashers or washing machine loads you're happy to put on at night, that is some basic load shifting that you can do that will really reduce your peak rate, which is on Octopus, like I said, is 30p on Novo is 28p. So that 2p difference can be made up very, very quickly from these extra six hours of cheap electricity every night. Now, the other important thing about Octopus Intelligent Go is if the car's plugged in, you get extra hours. So you get six hours every night regardless of the car's charging, but if you've plugged the car in and Octopus decide to schedule you a charge outside the off-peak hours, you'll get those extra off-peak hours plus your off-peak hours. So in other words, if they decide to charge you at 7 p.m. till 9 p.m., you will get the electricity at 7.5p for those hours plus the other six hours later on at night. So you can end up with a lot more cheap rate off-peak electricity, which means if you are able to load shift, or quite often on a Saturday, we plug the car in, say, at 1 p.m., and we've been given four or five hours during the middle of the day at cheap rate, 7.5p electric, we've put washing machines on, we've put dishwashers on, tumble dryers. You can really load shift and really reduce that peak rate that's 30p. Now in a bit in the video I'm going to explain how some people are definitely going to be better on Ovo anytime, over Octopus Intelligent. But for the vast majority of you, you're going to find Intelligent Go is a lot, lot cheaper for you, even though it's 2p more expensive on the peak, and even though Ovo Anytime is half a pence cheaper on the car. There is a difference of 2p there and a half p there. It might seem a big difference but it's not, as we're going to explain with some basic tricks. Now, there's some tricks to get some extra hours on Intelligent Go, and one of the tricks is plug your car in early on most days, and you should get some extra hours allocated if the electricity grid is green. Now, you can see that by looking at Agile rates, which is another deal off Octopus, they tend to be cheaper rates on during certain hours. You're more likely to be allocated intelligent hours at that, those rates. 
if there's uh, if you're part of the octopus intelligent emails they'll tell you when the green days are these are more likely to get extra intelligent hours if it's a very windy day you're more likely to get intelligent extra hours and at weekends because grid demand tends to be lower and if if it's windy and grid demand is lower on a saturday you should get a lot more hours i've seen 15 16 hours on a saturday including your six hours at night so that's quite a lot of really cheap electricity at seven and a half p remember this is for your house and your car so if you plug in on a saturday and you've been allocated extra hours do your washing machine use your tumble dryer use your dishwasher use anything that uses electricity that you'd normally use and save it for those hours might be charging up batteries or a variety of other things now talking about batteries and not just the batteries that say you'd use for cameras or anything else i mean physical storage batteries there's some tricks behind that which we'll get to in a minute but first if you are not an octopus intelligent customer yet or you're not an octopus customer you can sign up to uh, octopus intelligent or octopus at evnick.com forward slash energy there's a code there where you split a hundred pound with me and when you sign up you'll be able to sign up to a variety of octopus tariffs if it's not intelligent you can also sign up to go however for some of you don't sign up to octopus some of you will be cheaper on ovo now there will be some people who are going to be cheaper on ovo anytime and they are the people that can't get intelligent go but can get ovo anytime because ovo anytime has some different car capabilities and some different charges that octopus don't have on their list so if you can't get intelligent go octopus then go and try ovo anytime there may be a chance that your charger is compatible with ovo but not with octopus in which case you may be a lot cheaper charging your car with ovo than octopus go intelligent now if you can't get either of those two tariffs there is obviously the option of octopus go octopus go is the other tariff from octopus that offers a fixed four hours of cheap rate electricity at a higher um, off peak rate than the uh, intelligent go octopus if you aren't buying a charger at the moment or a car then might be worth checking that before you get a charger that it's compatible with either intelligent go octopus or overdrive anytime there is some charge that are compatible with both so that might also be worth looking when you put it down on your list now let's get back to batteries now octopus don't restrict what you can do during those off-peak hours or what you charge during the extra allocated hours so if you have a home storage battery I advise that you charge it up I brought my unit rate to an average of 8.5 P per kilowatt hour which is incredibly low I've done a video explaining how you can really benefit it from it here but if you can't get octopus intelligent go or overdrive anytime then check out this video I did on octopus go